the square of the absolute value of 1 plus c1 times the conjugate of c2 can be written as 1 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2 multiplied by the conjugate of 1 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2. And this is equal to 1 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2 multiplied by 1 plus the conjugate of z1 times the conjugate of the conjugate of z2. Now the conjugate of the conjugate of z2 is equal to z2 and therefore this becomes the product of 1 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2 and 1 plus the conjugate of z1 times z2. Opening this up, we get 1 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the conjugate of z1 times z2 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2 times the conjugate of z1 times z2. Now this can be rearranged as 1 plus in brackets z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the conjugate of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus z1 times the conjugate of z1 multiplied by z2 times the conjugate of z2. Now let the complex number w be equal to a plus ib where a and b are real. Therefore the conjugate of w is equal to a minus ib and therefore the sum of w and its conjugate is equal to a plus ib plus a minus ib. On the right hand side the imaginary terms cancel and the right hand side is therefore equal to 2a which is equal to 2 times the real part of w. Using this result z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the conjugate of z1 times the conjugate of z2 can be expressed as 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2. Also note that z1 times the conjugate of z1 is equal to the square of the absolute value of z1 and z2 times the conjugate of z2 is equal to the square of the absolute value of z2. Using these results we have the square of the absolute value of 1 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2 is equal to 1 plus 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 times the square of the absolute value of z2. Let's call this result 1. Now let's evaluate the square of the absolute value of z1 minus z2. This can be written as z1 minus z2 multiplied by the conjugate of z1 minus z2 and this is equal to z1 minus z2 multiplied by the conjugate of z1 minus the conjugate of z2. Opening this up we get z1 times the conjugate of z1 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2 minus z2 times the conjugate of z1 plus z2 times the conjugate of z2. And this can be written as the square of the absolute value of z1 minus in brackets z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the conjugate of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus outside the brackets the square of the absolute value of z2. Note that the middle term is equal to 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 and therefore the square of the absolute value of z1 minus z2 is equal to the square of the absolute value of z1 minus 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the square of the absolute value of z2. Let's call this result 2. Now adding results 1 and 2 
on the left hand side we get the square of the absolute value of 1 plus c1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 minus z2 is equal to 1 plus 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 times the square of the absolute value of z2 plus the absolute value of z1 square minus 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the square of the absolute value of z2. On the right hand side, 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 cancels and therefore the right hand side can be written as 1 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 plus the square of the absolute value of z2 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 times the square of the absolute value of z2 and this is equal to 1 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 plus square of the absolute value of z2 times in brackets 1 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 and therefore the right hand side is equal to in brackets 1 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 multiplied by in brackets 1 plus the square of the absolute value of z2 therefore to summarize the absolute value of 1 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2 square plus absolute value of z1 minus z2 square is equal to 1 plus the square of the absolute value of z1 multiplied by 1 plus the square of the absolute value of z2. And this is the required result.